Hey guys, what's going on? Bob here. I know it's been uh, a couple of weeks since I've done a video. Last Tuesday, there really wasn't uh, really wasn't anything out, and I didn't pick up anything new. So it was kind of a uh, kind of a poor week last week. So I didn't end up doing a video. Uh, first time in the last few months that I hadn't uh, hadn't done anything. Uh, this week's video is actually going to be. Um, pretty quick actually uh, as well because to be honest uh, there wasn't a whole lot uh, out this week so what I did add was uh, just a few laser discs to the collection so that's all uh, all I'm really gonna have is a handful of laser discs not too bad there um, and uh, these laser discs all uh, just like the last uh, set that I had they all came from uh, Duff's Flicks Dot com and uh, they, he does a great uh, does some great deals on uh, laser discs. These are all a buck a piece uh, with shipping. Like I said the last time, they end up being only like two two fifty a piece. So it does a really uh, you know is really cheap, really uh, you know really good. Uh, it's a really good website if you are a laser disc collector or you're looking to get into laser discs. You know if you just got a laser disc player, you can't really beat a dollar uh, for laser discs. So anyway, going to start off with these uh, real quick and just run through them. So. First one that I picked up is a copy of Batman Returns. Uh, this actually finishes up the uh, the trilogy of the original trilogy of Batman movies that I needed. Um, I had um, I had already original I had the original uh, the original Batman already, and then I I uh, picked up a copy of Batman Forever, and then uh, he, he didn't have Batman Returns the first time around, and uh, just added it. Uh, he just added it to the collection, and I was like, oh man, I gotta get that. I follow him on Facebook, and he had, uh, you know, posted that there was some new $1 laser discs. So I got this. This is a really nice, uh, this is a really nice set. And all of these discs, you know, for a buck a piece, these are in fantastic, um, you know, fantastic condition. I don't really know if you can see, you know, how nice that these look on here and everything, but they are, uh, they are in great shape, so... That was the first one that I picked up. Next one that I picked up is a copy of The Exorcist. Um, the uh, this is the this movie I actually have on uh, I actually have it on uh, Blu-ray and DVD. And I was like, well, I might as well uh, might as well pick up the Laserdisc. The art the artwork on this uh, is just gorgeous. You know, if you I, I would assume by now that everybody has seen uh, you know seen The Exorcist. I mean, I don't think that there's anybody who really hasn't seen this, um, but. The uh, I just love the original artwork on this, and it looks fantastic on the laser disc. So, and then the uh, the next movie that I picked up is a copy of Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I hadn't seen this movie in a very long time, and uh, when I saw it on the list, and I was like, oh, it's only it's only a buck. I definitely have to pick up that. And uh, this is one of the later laser discs, so it's a it's an extended play, and. Uh, which really just means it's only it's only one disc and you only have to flip it once and that's those are the ones that I like because I actually don't I don't have the uh, you know I don't have the laser disc player that that flips automatically so it's nice when you can get um, you know one that's not too, one that's only one disc um, and you know you only have to flip it once halfway through the movie uh, another one that's also uh, unbelievably like that I kind of thought that this would be a little bit uh, a little bit longer just because. I did pick up a copy of The Lion King. This is probably one of the nicest, I mean, cover covers that I've got um, on any of the laser discs. It's just really gorgeous. I'm going to show it over to the uh, to the HD camera here first. Um, you know, it just really, it's just really, really gorgeous. It's a really nice looking cover, um, and it's again, this is a this is an extended play version, so it's only the one disc, um, and it's I, and I checked them all, and they're all in great shape. You know, it's nice, it's nice that you can just get such decent uh, decent prices on these laser discs. I mean, when you look on eBay and you you think that these things were worth a million dollars because the players are really expensive, the discs are are seem to be really expensive most of the time, and it's like. I just don't understand, including uh, this one here, Hairspray. Uh, this is John Waters, uh, you know, the, the, this is the original Hairspray, obviously, uh, the John Waters film. And I, I had almost picked this up on eBay um, a while ago, and I didn't um, because it was like $15, and I was like, I'm not 100% sure that I really want to spend that kind of money on it. Um, so I didn't, and uh, I'm glad I didn't because, like I said, these are all a dollar, and uh, you can't beat, a, can't beat a dollar. You can't beat that. I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, let me see, what else did I grab here? So, I also picked up, uh, now I had just recently gotten this 
on uh, this movie just came out on Blu-ray not too long ago, and I haven't picked it up yet on Blu-ray. I do have um, I do have it on uh, VHS though, so I guess this will be a little bit of an upgrade. And that is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and uh, I love this movie. I've loved this movie since it came out. Um, it you know by far is one of the uh, most original movies, and I think it it stands out um, in you know in cinema for for not really the I mean yes the animation uh, mixed with uh, you know the live action was definitely something um, you know big at the time, but I think moreover mixing Warner Brothers and uh, and Disney into one movie was a big deal. And uh, for sure, that was uh, that was one of the things that really the achievement of that is probably bigger than it was with the uh, the animation uh, mixed with the live action. And then I've got two more here. So the next one that I picked up, a uh, copy of The Princess Bride, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. I think, uh, you know, if you haven't seen this by now, I don't know what rock you've been living under or you think it's a romantic, you know, uh, a romance movie or something. And, it, it, it you know, it's really not, of course. If you've seen this, you know that it's obviously based around a love story but it's a it's an action and you know it's an action movie and it's uh it's great and it's hilarious it's uh you know rob reiner uh made this movie and it's fantastic and if you have not seen it by now i don't know what you've been what you've been skipping out on but you really should uh you really should give it a go because this movie is great uh it's just uh it's just really really awesome and it's uh it's uh, it's out on out on every media dvd blu-ray you know vhs obviously laserdisc and everything like that again that's another one of the ones i have that on blu-ray but i actually bought that more for the cover art i'm disappointed that there is a uh that there's a sale sticker on here i'm hoping that i'm able to get that off i'm sure that i can um and just because i really like the uh really like the look of it and uh Again, that's another one disc one. Uh, the only, you know, that Roger Rabbit, that one's three discs. It's actually a really long one because it actually comes with some extra, uh, some extra features. But that's the only one I got out of this pile that was a long one. That, uh, well, that one and this, uh, this, this last movie has uh, is an extended play as well. But it's two discs, and that is uh, this is the last one I picked up, and that's Clerks. Uh, I wish that Clerks 2 was on Laserdisc. To be honest, that's I actually like that one a little bit better, which I suppose might be uh, you know sacrilege to Kevin Smith fans. This movie was is great. It was great. It's it's always been great. Um, but Clerks 2 is a little bit different kind of humor, um, you know, and it's it's a little bit it's a little bit funnier in my opinion. But the original Clerks is great, and if you haven't seen uh, if you haven't seen Clerks, you know you probably should. It's it's the most I would say out of all the Kevin Smith movies, it's probably the most approachable from somebody who isn't into that kind of humor because it's the least, you know, dirty of them, you know, compared to Clerks 2, especially, or, uh, you know, uh, or, you know, Zack and Miri make a porno or something like that. It's it's by far uh, the, the, the tamest in comparison. And if you've ever worked any sort of retail, uh, you've got to see Clerks, so... But anyway, guys, that's all the uh, those are all the movies that I picked up this week. Um, I actually they had thought that they would come for last week, and they didn't. They didn't get here until the middle of the week. So you get them all uh, all on this week, and that's pretty much it. This week's uh, releases on Blu-ray and DVD were Gravity and Thor Two, uh, both of which I really have no desire to own, at least not for full price. Um, especially not Gravity, because I, despite the Oscar, and it may even win the Oscar uh, next weekend, I have no desire to watch that movie i mean i will if it wins the best picture i will have to see it but going into it i'm not i'm not really interested in watching that movie at all so um at any rate guys that's pretty much uh that's pretty much it for this week uh no review video this week um it may i may end up doing it uh in the at the this weekend where i skipped last week um and uh i've actually got a few movies backed up that i'm going to do in one review video instead of just spending 10 minutes talking about one movie what i'm actually going to do is just uh you know just more like a siskel and ebert thing used to do where they talk about several movies that were released so i'll talk about several movies that i've watched over the last few weeks uh and that'll probably be coming uh this weekend so keep an eye out for that uh, but anyway guys uh do the uh the normal youtube stuff and uh, like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to follow me on uh, on facebook as well it's facebook.com slash bob's video vault that's updated uh you know, even more frequently than the than the weekly on here, and I always post some new stuff. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a great uh, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you over the weekend for the review video.